that we are live check out the new intro music what do you guys think i don't know where i grabbed this one from it's called waterboy jungle beats i'm liking it mr peterson ghp82 in the house that's great Braden, vaughn good to see you guys logan hello remy <laughs> Awesome. Vaughn, you're a 7-1. That's great. Thanks, dude. Telling me some jokes before we got started on the stream here. That's fun. Good. I was nervous, but it went really well, and you guys were like the highlight of my game. Being able to chat with you guys and stuff was super fun. And so I'm excited that we're back. You're going to see a couple of cool things. Um, <laughs> sorry, Ewan. Okay, so here's the deal. I got my Seek and Destroy Elves out there. Um, you're going to see them named as Nightbot. Okay, and so this is just to help with some of the spam. You guys are so excited about the stream and stuff. And you're like, shout out, shout out, shout out. And I'm like, that's so fun. That's good. But it also plugs up the spam and people who are trying to say something didn't get through and that kind of thing. So I got my Seek and Destroy Elves. So like too many emojis. Uh, you repeat the same thing, copy, paste, that kind of stuff. And uh, my, my Seek and Destroy Elves are going to like, Poof, and they're going to get you. All right. And uh, if you do it too much, they'll put you in a little timeout. And uh, you'll be back in. I'm not banning anybody for, for spamming and stuff like that. That's all good. But, um, yeah, have fun and certainly light up the chat. Uh, fire in your questions. Uh, yeah, tell me how your week's been. What has been a high point? What's been a low point? Anything going on? I'm, uh, I'm excited about this week. I got some fun stuff coming up this week. I've got, you know what I'm excited about? I've got the, the Doug's Not Hot Christmas Toy List of 2020. I'm going to hit you with that. And then uh, we're going to give away another pound and a half of genuine artificial peppermint candy cane. You wish you were allergic to asparagus? <laughs> yeah, you like my shirt? That is the, uh, that's the, uh, anybody know what molecule that is? Science class, anyone? I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you're going to have to guess. Yes. I'm not going to do, yeah, no more. That's good. Cool. Shout out 8-4. Hey, Griffin. 8-4, thanks for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Um, so the biggest thing uh, right off the hop, I'd love it if you uh, spread it around to your friends. Um, follow me on Instagram at Creedcast or right here on YouTube. Of course, you can hit the bell, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Okay, and because uh, the fun part, honestly, guys, the fun part is to be able to chat with you in the chat box. Okay, so that's super cool. Um, yeah, it's been been a great week. And you know what we're going to start off with? Because we only got 20 minutes. I know, like, you guys are doing class and stuff like that. So we're going to start off with some happy birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. That's right. So we got a whole pile of birthdays. And uh, because GHP is in the house today uh i'm gonna start off there so happy birthday to uh sloan december 9th so what's today the 8th right tomorrow sloan it's your birthday tomorrow happy birthday uh azalea december 10th aiden december 11th miller december 13th fantastic happy birthday to all of you guys um we got kennedy over at mchs on december 12th sophia dawn on december 13th over at mchs um Tate, December 6th, so that was a couple of days ago, Sunday, St. Nicholas Day, Tate, happy birthday, and Jersey, uh, December 8th, that's today, Jersey, it's your birthday today, so I'm going to give you the birthday wrap. <laughs> it's birthday Ooh. time, it's such a thrill, don't be sad, you're over, you're not the, over hill. the hill, you've got many more you're years not over to come, hill, we love you, you're, you're number one. Fresh. I have a life ahead of you yet. Awesome. Good stuff, guys. Um, it is time for daily inspiration and I wanted to give you guys this did you did you get that did that even fire let me see if that worked we're stuck on it's your birthday daily there we go daily inspiration inspiration for your everyday daily inspiration inspiration for your everyday um, last week I hit that and it was really really quiet and I have to shout it out because that's my two daughters and they're uh, close friend Michaela 
and uh, I asked them to put together like a little daily inspiration bumper and they harmonized and they fired it over to me and so that's that's from them so today's daily inspiration uh, I'm using an app to pull up some daily inspiration um, that's really bright and washed out oh is that working yeah there it is okay the app is called daily wonder it's really great it gives you guys a random uh, inspiration for the day today's inspiration the smallest good deed is better than the grandest intention you guys catch that okay the smallest good deed is better than the grandest intention you know what that means we can think of all these cool things to do right but if we don't do them they don't they don't mean anything right so what are you sitting on what good deed are you sitting on that you should act on this week okay you might not even be thinking about one okay but i know you guys want to do good deeds for people i know you want to feel good i want and you want people around you to feel good okay so don't just think about those good deeds act on them okay so that's challenge for this week um that good deed that you're thinking about doing i want you to do it all right how's that sound good stuff what do we got in the chat here nathaniel hello nathaniel hi 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 better watch it my seek and destroy elves are coming for you man uh, I'm not an <laughs> I'm not an Eminem fan. No, not really. Uh, everyone, drop a like on the stream. Thanks, you, and that'd be great. You betcha. The official insane. Uh, no, I'm not an Eminem fan. <laughs> spam likes everyone. Hey, I love spam. Just not the kind lit on the keyboards, you know, in the email. But like the can of spam toasted on a camping trip, a little piece of bread. Woo, good stuff. Excellent. Thanks for the emojis. That's great, you guys. Okay, now. Trending this week. This is Trending Tuesday, and I'm always going to call it Trending Tuesday. Even if I have to do this stream on a Wednesday, it's going to be Trending Tuesday. Saturday, Trending Tuesday. Okay, so this is Trending Tuesday on a Tuesday. And uh, today, what I wanted to do is put together, ooh, PS5 or Xbox, the new one. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go PS5 just because they got the new UFC uh, EA Sports game on there, and, and I'd love to try that. But, okay. Excellent. Okay, so Trending Tuesday. Here's what I wanted to do. Like, right around the November and, and definitely, like, peaked right now is, like, the hottest Christmas toys of 2020. Okay? And in a normal year, you'd have people, like, climbing all over each other at the stores and throwing elbows and stuff just trying to get these hottest toys. Okay? So here's the hottest toys that I don't recommend this year. Okay? These are the ones that I had a good look. I looked at the price. I looked at what they do, all that kind of stuff. And these are the hottest toys that I do not recommend. Even though they're on the hottest toy list, I don't recommend. I definitely wouldn't stand in line for these toys. Okay? So the first one. You're going to recognize this one. Now, I wish, I wish, sorry, my voice is cracking puberty. I wish that you could hear the sound, but YouTube, Seek and Destroy Elves, tagged me because I tested this and they're like eh, 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 copyright violation I was like oh so anyway just showing you the video from the commercial okay so you guys know this the baby Yoda right Mandalorian okay Disney Plus every Friday is dropping and baby Yoda was introduced at the start of the season and he's all cute and he makes cute little baby noises and stuff like that and now you can get the animatronic baby Yoda doll why am I not recommending the animatronic baby Yoda doll for your Christmas list. First of all, you know what? I think he's cool. I love Baby Yoda. He's cute, okay? And when him and Mando are going back and forth, and you know his new name, right? A couple episodes ago, spoiler alert, okay? His name is actually Grogu. This is why I'm not putting Grogu on your must-have list because I think it's a dumb name. Grogu, seriously. These are the smartest, most creative minds on the planet putting together this TV series and they called him Grogu. It sounds like a Neanderthal man, like Grog, make fire, cook meat. Okay, Grogu, no. Uh, I think it should have been something different. Of course, now if we look, look back, we thought like Yoda, yeah, like that's a better name, right? So anyway, I'm just rebelling against the name Grogu. If you get yourself an animatronic baby Yoda doll for Christmas, woo, woo, yeah, hit it, okay? So that's Grogu. He's cute. You can get him at Costco, but he's like, uh, he's like, what is he? Sixty-seven bucks. I don't know. It seems like he's gonna be good for Christmas Day, and then that's it. So I don't know. You decide. But this one, that's that one's your choice. These ones, you cannot get these. Okay. So here's number four. We're counting them down. Five, three to one. This is Squeaky, the 
not balloon balloon dog okay squeaky the not balloon balloon dog looks like a balloon dog but he's made out of plastic and he's robotic and he has a remote control now this is oh and he toots seriously all right this one just dropped like i could get you so he is 89.99 on amazon do you know how many balloons you could tie and how many little balloon dogs you could make for $90 out of balloons from the dollar store? And he's not going to break. He's not going to run out of batteries. Are you kidding me? Okay, so Squeaky the Not Balloon Balloon Dog. Mm -mm -mm. No bueno. No bueno. This one, I have, I'm 50-50 on this one. It's kind of cool. Rattlesnake Jake. The only thing I'm thinking, okay, so this is a game. Rattlesnake Jake's guarding his pile of gold, right? And you take a little nugget of gold off of there, and then at some point his rattle starts getting faster and faster, and then all of a sudden, boom, he strikes. Okay, the only thing I'm thinking about are these poor little kids who are like three and four years old. You want to talk about starting a snake phobia early? Give them Rattlesnake Jake for Christmas, okay? So it looks like kind of a fun game. Maybe I, it might be fun. I'm just worried about the little ones, okay? So that's Rattlesnake Jake. This one, hmm. I got a special level of hate in my heart for this one. Oh yeah, baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark. Do, do. They turned him into an animatronic robot DJ. Okay, so he sings seven songs. Guess which seven songs he sings? He sings the Baby Shark song, obviously. The Baby Shark remix, Baby Shark EDM, Baby Shark official jazz remix, and Disco Shark. So it's basically seven remixes of Baby Shark. Okay, you want to turn Merry Little Christmas into Haunted Halloween? Like, seriously? Baby Shark, all day, Christmas Day, all day Boxing Day. If we're locked up for longer yet, you're going to be hearing Baby Shark for the next month. Okay? No boy, no one the Baby Shark. And finally, in my number one position, number one position, are you kidding? The for real poops a lot puppy. Just check this out. Look at this thing. You feed him little kibbles, little plastic kibbles, put them in his mouth, and then you take him out for a walk. And you have to bring a poo bag with you. Okay, he poops out the little kibbles. All right, here's the deal. He's $26.99 on Amazon. Okay, for $26.99, you and all your little friends can come out to my farm, and I have two dogs who will poop all you want, and I'll pay you $26.99 to clean it up. How about that? Okay, two Labrador retrievers who take pooing to an Olympic level. I'll pay you to clean it up. If you really want a little doggy who poops all over your floor, I'll pay you to clean it up. Got it? <laughs> okay, check it out. That's it. That's my definitely top five not hot toy list for Christmas 2020. That's good, guys. Now, hang on. My stream is catching up. I got to see where you guys are at in the chat. See, it's in my head now. All right. Uh, let's go. Where are we at for time? Yeah, it's. Board, can you believe how fast this goes? Yeah, that's speaking. messed up. That's right. That is way too expensive. Um, why was the vampire sad? Oh, Vaughn, that's Vaughn with the dad jokes. Vaughn, you're too young for dad jokes, bro. <laughs> he could not reflect himself. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, that's good. Just get a real dog. Exactly. Yeah, baby shark. Thank you for, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. Hey, I want to share a few thoughts with you guys about Advent. Okay. You know, whoa, 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 whoa. We're definitely behind. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your chaplain speaking. Yeah, there we go. This is your chaplain speaking. Um, so I grew up going to the mountains, okay? Um, Mom and dad took us camping. I had an auntie and an uncle that lived uh, in BC near a conservation uh, wildlife center. And it was this massive swamp, uh, wetlands, lake. It was beautiful. And one of the unique things in there was uh, it had turtles. And I just remember going there. I was about 13, and we were driving to the conservation center, and I saw this sign, Turtle Crossing. And it, legit. It was on the side of the road. It was Turtle Crossing. And I guess when the turtles get to start laying their eggs, 
um, they cross the road and it's dangerous for them. And so they're just asking people driving to watch for these turtles. And so it got me thinking, like, what are some other strange um, signs that we see in uh, different different parts of the country? You guys um, may be driving. You may not be yet. But uh, I had a look around and I went to Australia. I didn't actually go to Australia. I started looking for traffic signs in Australia. Here's what I found. Okay. This one. If you guys check out these tire tracks, it doesn't work. Okay. Physically doesn't actually, the laws of physics have been completely reversed here. Those tires are crossed. All right. So uh, I presume that means slippery roads in Australia. How about this? Um, oops. There you go. Uh, crossing there we go okay so then I went to the next place I went to was actually to Israel and um, I, th I thought what do they have for traffic signs in Israel ooh you and got busted by the seek and destroy elves traffic signs in Israel um, you'd think you looked at this and you're like oh, okay motorcycles are allowed tractors are allowed bicycles are allowed and walking your children is allowed but in Israel this sign actually means um, not allowed. You know how here we have like a Ghostbuster style sign, right? Where it would have a slash through the middle. Okay, this means that would not be allowed. But in Israel, this red circle means that same thing. So I thought that was a little bit strange and hard to understand. Um, this was also from Israel. I'm not sure. This was like butterfly catching. I don't know for sure. But I think it means like it's a, it looks like a windsock from an airport. So we're not sure exactly what that means. Maybe it's high winds. Maybe it's like a windy area or something. You get blown off the road. Um, this one is also from Israel. It got me thoroughly confused. What is that? A detour sign? But if I saw that along the side of the road, I'd wondered, like, do I need to turn here? What happens if I go around the block? Are we playing Pac-Man? I don't know. Here's the thing. We're in this time leading up to Christmas. It's called Advent. And... The world is full of signs right now, okay? And we see this Christmas tree. Just put up my tree this week, threw some nice lights on it. Um, I got my Advent wreath back here. Okay, I'm gonna flip this thing on. Now, I'm gonna turn them purple, okay? Got my two purple candles right there. And this Advent wreath is a sign as well, okay? So we got the two purple candles um, that color purple means royalty, right? Like the color of a king. Okay, we've got the green wreath. I just use like a tin, right? And that green is like sign of everlasting life. Okay, the green tree. That's the same as our Christmas tree. Okay, they're alive year round. Okay, they don't ever wither and fade, right? They are, they're a symbol of that everlasting life. Okay, and then the two candles. We got the first one of the week or the first one of the season is the candle of hope. Then we've got the candle of peace. Okay, and so we see these symbols, these signs of hope and peace. And so we may see some of these things like lights on a tree. What does that symbolize? Well, that's the light of Christ that's come into the world, right? Um, we might look at those lights and not think of those as a sign. Or we may see signs that we don't understand. Like maybe you've seen an Advent wreath. Maybe you've seen a Christmas candle. Okay, maybe you've seen um, like holly and mistletoe. Those things all are signs that we maybe don't understand. And this is very similar to what happened when Jesus came to the earth. Okay, There were signs leading up to him coming. And some people didn't even recognize him when he showed up. Even though like right now in the Bible we'll hear the story of John the Baptist. And he says, I've come to make the path straight. I am just here to announce the coming of Jesus. Okay. And he starts interpreting the signs for us, just like we'd need someone to interpret some of those road signs. John the Baptist is there telling us, okay, pay attention. This is him. This is the guy. Like for 800 years, we've been talking about this guy showing up, and there's been these signs. And then Jesus shows up on the earth, and he starts doing these signs, right, where he's healing people. He's curing the sick. He's giving sight back to the blind, right? He's helping people walk again, right? And so he's got all these signs that tell us he is who he says he is. He's the son of God, which is so like mind-blowing. But you guys might have signs in your life that you haven't thought of. Sorry, hang on. Boop, 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 boop. 
and I'm getting ready to wrap. We're going to give away that candy cane right away here. Okay. There may be signs in your life that God is showing you just to say to you, Hey, I love you and I hope you see this. Okay. And sometimes we ignore those signs. And a lot of times they're just the things in our life that we're blessed with, you know, like we're blessed with close family or we're blessed with, you know, a house, a roof over our head. We've got a full fridge, um, you know, just these simple things. And we have more than we need so we can give it away. Those are all signs that God is there and he's loving us and he's taking care, taking care of us. Okay, so this week, here's what I want you to do. I want you to assume this means I want you to start with the idea that when you see something good happen in your life, I want you to say, God, I think that's a sign from you. Okay. I think that you're trying to tell me something and that something that he's trying to tell you is, Hey, I'm here for you and I love you. Okay. And so every, every good thing that happens this week, I want you to start thinking, Hey, that's God. That's God in my life. All right. How's that sound? Okay. Can you guys do that as a challenge? Every good thing in your life that you see this week, that you experience this week, I want you to say, hey, God, that's you. You're in my life. Awesome. Okay. Now, it's time for that great candy cane giveaway. Let's get a little bit of Christmas music. Why are we doing that now? Definitely. Hang on, guys. Switches. Go back to main cam. Bells. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, my bells are obviously not working. They're my countdown timer. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's see, who won the candy cane? Okay, so last week, um, my friend Dion won the candy cane. This week, here it is, one more giant candy cane. And I don't know if our winner is actually on with us, uh, but he hit me on Instagram. His name is Owen. Uh, so Owen29Brown, congratulations. This candy cane is yours. And uh, I'm going to DM you on Instagram and find a way to get you this bad boy, which is a pound and a half of pure artificial peppermint candy cane flavor. Okay? So congratulations to Owen. Now, um, next week, guys, next week you definitely want to tune in because um, it's the 15th of December. So same bad time, same bad channel, Tuesday at 11 a.m., December 15th. But as you know, that's our last week of school before Christmas break. So I have to give away two candy canes on the same day. So next week at this time, I'm giving away both of those last candy canes. So you can like, comment, tag a friend, subscribe, DM me, hit the bell, all those things. And uh, I'm going to choose one person at random to uh, get those last two people to get those last two candy canes. Okay? So let me check it out. How you guys doing? Um, yeah, Shoto, you, my Seek and Destroy Elves just knocked you out of the sky, bro. Um, my wreath is a bunch of pink and purple stuff on a Lego set. Nice. <laughs> That's good. Uh, who won the, oh, I got to go back. Sweet question, Ethan. Sorry, I missed your question there, buddy. Uh, I'm going to have to go back. Oh, somebody's trying to impersonate me. Creedcast. <laughs> Download it. What if I don't ins own Insta? Hey, Vaughn, if you don't have Instagram, that's okay. Just follow me here on YouTube. So either YouTube or Instagram, and I'm going to make sure I get people, um, in either of those places, okay? Last week it was someone from YouTube. This week someone's from Instagram. So either place, I'm looking, all right? Your house is Christmas Wonderland. Well, you're blessed. That's awesome. Fantastic, guys. Okay. Hey, guys, that's it for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Mr. Peterson, thank you for uh, bringing some of your eights along. Um, Primo, you guys are carrying it. I love it. Thanks very much, guys. Um, don't worry about winning candy canes. Okay, uh, I'm going to – I see you guys. <laughs> That's good. Holla, Griffin, thank you. Daniel, uh, yeah, Daniel, how do we enter? Just uh, comment, tag me, um, like, subscribe. I'm going to just look at all of those. Ava, 6-1 from GHP. Thanks, Ava. Good to see you guys. Uh, Ethan asked, what does the wreath represent? Thank you for that one. Okay, so the wreath uh, in the circle, right? This is the love that never ends. The circle has no end and no beginning, okay? Not like a line, right? It's got no end and no beginning, and that symbolizes the eternity of God. No end, no beginning. <laughs> Who knew? Hey, Who knew that that's what the wreath meant? Thanks for the question, Ethan. That's awesome. Any other questions? If not, thanks for showing up. You guys are awesome. Pay attention to the channel because uh, if there's time, I'm just going to pop on at lunch hours and uh, chat with you guys. Okay, so um, make sure you get notified when I go live so um, you can join in too if you're just sitting around at lunch, uh, if you're at home. 
and you got time over lunch hour, um, you can pop on and we can yak. Uh, that's great. Okay, guys. Thanks very much. Love you all. God loves you very much. So do I. And we will talk to you next week.